I really want to say uh, a sincere congratulations. I really enjoyed this movie. And if I'm being honest with you, it was a lot better than I expected. I just thought it would be good, but it's a really great sequel. Um, <laughs> that means a lot. Thank you. For, for both of you, um, when did you... I actually, for, uh, for someone, I'm going to start with you. When did you realize that the sequel was, oh, wait, this is really good? Um, when we were working together, um, we really spent the time to explore the characters and the real issues and look into the relationship with the other characters. It was never just saying lines. We really did, right? We really yeah. did the work together. Uh, almost more than in a regular film, because sometimes in a regular film that people are not rehearsing anymore. Everything is hurry, hurry, hurry. And, and yeah. here we had a wonderful process of exploring the characters and the story and the different meanings that we could bring. What, what was our, our contribution? to the audience, through the characters, today. And uh, I knew it was something special because also, I love this. I, I, I believe in intention. I believe that it's important to always be aware of your intentions. And it felt I was doing a movie with collaborating with people that had an intention that was beyond, let's do a hit movie. Let's say something, and, and let's say something also visually. How do we translate what we're trying to say with the plot, with the narrative, with the characters, also visually? And, and for, for me, that, that was mind-blowing. So I knew it er, quite early on in, in, in our character development together. And it's interesting, because it was like the same reaction where you know, we set out to go, we can, we can really push this next chapter of Puss in Boots visually, like you're saying, everything looks like you're in a fairy tale painting. Um, tonally, that we go to some new territory with, um, especially in a Shrek uh, world. But th I think right away, working with Salma and Antonio, I was just blown away by, like, you were always asking questions, going deeper to, like, even if it was comedy, it was like, what's underneath this? What's this character's objective here to, um, and really how it tied into the theme um, of the movie. What, what does she really feel underneath the sarcasm, the sassiness, yeah. every single line? And he was game, and he was amazing. We, I we really played a lot, a lot. And, yeah. and really explored. And, so, and I think you feel that there's a spontaneity um, between all of the characters that really comes so much from, from this process. I love comedy. I love it. But honestly, I hope this doesn't come the right way. To me, it's really easy. It's really easy. And <laughs> we could improvise a, a thousand times. What else can we do through, besides the comedy or through the comedy? I love it. Sure. It's like, uh, I don't know. It's, you, you, I guess it depends what family you grew up grow up, it's like a chip or something, and you're always making the <laughs> joke. I don't know, I don't know, but for me, what I loved was what else is underneath it, and, and how does it fit in this new universe that has to be part of an old universe? How do you make that old universe refreshing? Fascinating. One, one of the things about animated movies is that they can often change dramatically during the production. And I'm curious, how did this film possibly change from when you first started to what people are seeing on screen? Uh, um, you know, it's interesting because DreamWorks has been trying to figure out this next chapter for over a decade. And in the process, figuring out what's not just making another one just to make one, uh, but this, I think, you know, what. When I came to the project, there was this nugget of an idea. Puss is on his last of his, his nine lives. And for me, it was just such a great opportunity to go, that's an absurd idea. It's like you're a fairy tale that cats get nine lives, but at the root of it, it's about someone who's realizing they have one life and all of us as human beings get one life. And, and for me, it was like exciting to go, this can be a movie that celebrates the gift of life. Um, but how we get there 
And what the end looks like, I didn't know. And that's the fun of, I think, of filmmaking, of this process where it's, it is such a collaborative effort. There's over 400 people that work on these animated movies. And then when we have amazing you know, cast that, that really brings so much, not just reading the lines, but to the partnership of creating the story, the themes, the character, it really evolved. It's such a beautiful end result, way more beautiful than I would have pictured. One of the things I find, I, I know a lot of people that do voiceover stuff and have recorded voiceover. And one of the things they talk about is recording efforts and how much they dread it. <laughs> and so Selma, I'm curious for you, do you dread those days where you have to record the grunting, the running, those sounds? And uh, no. Joel- love it. Because <laughs> <laughs> nothing, nothing is generic with Joel you. Joel <laughs> will not shut up while you're doing that. Because <laughs> he is describing, of course, you're not looking at it. Sometimes when you do a DR, you're watching the film and you're like, uh-uh. He's like, and they're going under this flower that is going to be purple, but it's very big, <laughs> but it's very scary, the flower. So when you go down, you have to, like, the level of detail, and I love, like, my brain works only in images. <laughs> so I could actually be there without seeing it. I, by the time I saw the film, you know, so I'm like, oh, and I love imagining the, 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 the flower and doing it, and he keeps talking to you, and now you're going to be doing this and that. So it was fun. Well, and and it was I mean, challenge. that's why I, I found that depending on what I described to you, it, it's not, nothing's generic. No, I would So the completely. effort changed, and so we even, every detail of this down to the effort is so specific to Kitty Softpaw's character, to, that really just, you know, forms the, the experience, the ride. I love it. It's playing, you know? It's, it's sure. playing like when you're a kid. <laughs> I think it's going to be my last question, uh, but Puss in Boots is a very popular character with a lot of people, and I'm curious for both of you, what do you think it is about the character that resonates with so many people of all ages? Hmm. I mean, I, I think, for me, I think there's something in this, it's this adorable little cat you know, it's, it's, it's just a two and a half foot tall cat, but <laughs> with Antonio's voice, the, the charisma, he's, he has like the bravado of an eight foot tall man. And there's something in that contrast that is both adorable and aspirational. Um, I think that, that's something that's very charming about it to me. But I'm gonna be, oh God, I hope I don't get into trouble. I love when she says this. <laughs> <laughs> There is an unapologetic um, and also naive, charming narcissism. She nailed it. <laughs> that it, it's irresistible. Because it doesn't mean anything. He, all he wants to do is do good things for others, you know? And it's one of his weapons. Yeah. You know, these like you know, the delusional, unapologetic narcissism. And in this movie, you see the fragile part and you love him all the more because of it. Yeah, you see what's behind the, the, yes. the bravado. Because, I mean, bravado. he sings a song about himself at the beginning and it's, like you're saying, it's charming. Yes, the arrogance it's the, is charming. The, the, it's <laughs> right, because he's a good, he's not a bad, arrogant person, but yeah. God, He's a nice, good cat. He yeah. wants to do good for the world. And one of his weapons is his um, very robust self-esteem. <laughs> Completely. Listen, I'm, I got to wrap. I'm just going to say uh, congrats on the movie, and I sincerely hope it's a huge hit for you guys. Uh, thank yeah. you so much. <laughs> yeah.